Hello friends, good evening once again. Now we are again going to start with the remaining part of our active and passive voice. See, this chapter is a bit lengthy. A bit. Now we have been seeing the present tense, then we saw past tense, then future tense also. Now we are going to see a little bit different kind of patterns of the sentences which you also know but such examples also can be asked for changing the voice so let's not waste the time let's start our section with the very first one uh, subtopic of the, the of this session that is sentences with model auxiliaries see sentences with model auxiliaries now friends you need to understand that there are some primary verbs and secondary main verb that is secondary verb they are also called as uh, main verbs so primary verbs in that all forms of to be are calculated but there are some other auxiliary verbs also which are known as model auxiliaries the difference between auxiliaries and model auxiliaries is auxiliaries do indicate listen very carefully auxiliaries do indicate the tense they come for helping the main verb they come to show the tense but in case of model auxiliaries, each and every model auxiliary has its own meaning and they come for a proper cause, proper purpose. Okay, every, every model auxiliary has its own meaning. You must be knowing these model auxiliaries that can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, ought to, used to must all these are model auxiliaries okay so keep in your mind that there is a difference between auxiliaries and model auxiliaries so we are going to see the examples which will be having these model auxiliaries now friends see remember that while having the model auxiliaries you need not there is isn't any kind of so much a very drastic and dreadful thing that we have to do for changing the voice. There are very simple tricks that you also can, once you get to know it, you also can do it very easily. Let's start. But before that, we need to see the sentence pattern as well, like tenses. Fine. So, subject will as usual, then <clears throat> model of the repo. Okay. Then B1 and object. So this is the pattern of active voice. What is this? Active voice. This is active voice. Now, what will be the passive form of this structure? Let's see. Object. Fine. First one. Then this is model of the learning. See friends, while taking this model of the living, you have to take it as it is. Whatever that has come into this sentence, same model of the living, you have to copy as it is. Don't make any kind of change. Okay? Object plus model of the living, then there will be B. This is the additional part because it is passive form. Then B3 form, then by, then subject. By object, model of the B, B, the B3 form by the subject. Let's see example. I can speak. I 
Spanish. I can speak Spanish. Is the sentence. So let's bifurcate the organs, subject. This is model auxiliary. Speak B1 object. Right. Now Spanish can. Now B. Speak becomes spoken. Speak, spoke, spoken. So Spanish can be spoken by I becomes me. See, Spanish can be spoken by me. One, this is how you have to cross examine, cross check this whether the structure is being followed or not. Object, model of the address, B address, degree form, by. Sorry. That's it. Okay. No, there are not many changes into this one. Let's take another one example of this one. You must. You must not. Copy answer. Does it? You must not copy answer. There might occur negative sentence also. So what to do at that time? That's why I have taken this kind of example. See the uh, transformation. Answer. This answer. Hmm? Answer. Then. What is the way? What is it? Must. Not. Be. Copy becomes copy. By you. So that answer must not be copied by you. Getting? So this is how. It's very very simple. You just how to understand the structure and how the tenses, uh, sentences are getting transformed. Mm, let me box it. Don't forget to make a box to this structure because these structures are very, very important, my friends. So don't forget it. This is again passive form. Fine. Passive. Identify the tense or the type of the sentence. Unless and until you get it known or identify it, you will not be able to solve the examples flawlessly, that is without any kind of mistake. Now, see, pay attention the very next one uh, subtype imperative sentences. Sometimes some imperative sentence can be asked for changing the voice. So, first of all, let's understand what is an imperative sentence. Okay, as you have been learning English grammar for so many years, so you are also quite aware and familiar with this concept that, that of imperative sentence. Imperative sentence are nothing but orders, commands, request, etc. What are those? Orders, commands, request. So these are called as imperative sentences. So such imperative sentences can be asked for our changing words or for this topic. Let's see. Imperative sentences are directly that uh, sometimes they, it doesn't have any kind of specific uh, uh, pattern. So we are going to solve it directly taking examples. See.
in this case in case of imperative sentences we should understand what type of whether the imperative sentence is negative or positive because negative sentences have a bit different kind of a little bit different uh, changing pattern so you have to understand it let don't ask here the must be there let the question subject because remember in imperative sentence subject is always second person second person means who you you is the second person so in imperative sentence all the time the subject is you so all the time we there is not uh, important it is not necessary to write by you by you by you it's okay fine and you also that like this one that is vite that's it okay that's we have done Let's see now. This is the structure. You have to copy it now. Pass the salt. What is it? Pass the salt. Now let the salt be. Finish. Let the salt be passed. Pass the salt. Let the salt be passed. Now see, this is the negative one sentence. Let plus object plus be plus be three. This is the structure. But in case of negative sentences, the structure changes a little bit because after be you have to write not. Whenever it is about negative sentence, then. In case of uh, the affirmative, that is the plain sentence, positive sentence, you need not to do anything special. Just start the sentence with let and let the sort be passed like this. Okay. Now see, friends, some more examples. Take down this structure without fail. Function. Now, let the function be 
not attend data. Let the function be not attended. That's it. That is how the imperative sentences get changed. Okay. It's very rare that uh, so some different type of sentences may be asked, but we just have to observe the sentence, examine the sentence very, very carefully, and then go for the change. Nowadays, the SSC board has changed its instruction pattern. What do they do? They do give you the instruction like start the sentence, begin the sentence with da 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 da. They give the object. That becomes more easy. Right? So by changing the, the passive form, changing into passive form, active into passive, that time you have to be very careful while reading the question itself. What instruction they have given? If instruction is not there, they might give give you direct instruction as well, uh, like uh, change the voice. Directly they may say. But if it is not, then you have to understand what you are supposed to start with. Start your sentence with so and so. Whatever it may be. So that means what? It is a, the question is of changing the voice. So my friends, do understand these patterns, whatever we have discussed so far, and practice practicing is very very important see grammar is not uh, such a kind of thing that once you have marked up with the, all the rules and regulations and you have sat down and uh, writing the examples and solving the things no it needs continuous practice on daily basis daily basis you have to go through variety of examples Saw different different types of examples, understand the pattern while reading the newspaper, not Marathi, but English. Okay, by reading the newspaper, you can uh, see the sentence pattern, what language they have used, what vocabulary they have used. It will definitely enrich your vocabulary uh, section as well as your sentence formation will be also improved. And uh, only one thing you can be master in English is by practicing it. Okay. So don't at all forget to practice. Now, after this, remember about what I am telling now. We have completed two chapters. One is of things, one is of voices. That is change voice. Now, we are going to conduct one test on this. As well as one writing skill will be given to you. I just want to know how do you cope up with the things means how do you attempt the writing skills suppose there may be a letter there may be an expansion of idea there might be report writing and else. okay so that assignment will be given to you you have to solve it and you have to submit it okay once you have submitted it i'll check it and will give you marks it will be based on marks it might exceed up to 20 marks or 25 marks something like that not beyond 30 but okay but you have to be very very thorough practice both these chapters very well because only two chapters we have completed in next session we are going to start with our textbook also because we should not lag behind from that point of view because uh, rest of the subjects have started with the text but as we the mis means of what languages that is uh, sanskrit might be there Marathi is there, Hindi is there. So all these languages do have second one part that is of grammar. But not this doesn't happen with the other subjects like SST, science, algebra, geometry, something like that. Okay, these all subjects do not have any grammatical part, but we do have. What do I what I want to convey you, what I want to tell you is after this grammar session, we have completed many four or five sessions now. Now we are in next session we are going to deal with the textbook. Textbook, we are going to see the very first one unit, we are going to start with the unit that but before that you have to prepare for that learning. Read the first poem uh, that is of Rabindranath Tagore. Then next uh, lesson that we are going to learn. So you go through it, even though you don't understand anything, that doesn't matter, but read it. Just read it. Whatever the meaning of that poem is that I'm going to teach you, I'm going to be in detail, no doubt. But 
you need textbook all of you need textbook but without textbook you won't understand what i am dealing with what i am teaching you so textbook is very very important you have to sit with the text we may go through a different kind of app also so wherein we can be uh, focusing each other we can see each other and that will be a live class it might take less but if it isn't then we i am going to get, get the things done with the help of textbook and you also must have it without textbook you won't understand anything if you don't have the text and why i am telling now it so that you can get prepared so make it available bookstores are open now you can go in the market purchase the textbook and be ready for dealing with the textbook and the lessons and the points course okay that we are going to start from the next session but without textbook you won't get anything now apart from this that test that i told you that of 20 to 25 marks it will it might be apart from that i'll be giving some task also to solve at home so that you can practice it without saying you can see the rules and the this sentence pattern once but while solving the examples do not turn the pages back and uh, copy the things what the structure of what the sentence belongs to means if the sentence from uh, present tense then present continuous what is the structure of passive form then write it no don't do that what do you have to do just study entire things very properly and then go for the task that i am going to give but don't be lazy in solving that with practicing only is going to make us perfect so you have to practice again and again because this term this academic year is going to be very very crucial last academic year was also a bit crucial because the paper pattern had been changed and something many things changed but now this is because of this covid 19 the things have drastically changed everything has been hampered everything has been affected but let's not see at this negatively let's take it as a challenge and let's face it with bravery and with valor okay i know you can do all with your uh, confidence i'm always there for you do ask your queries your doubts get them clear but don't at all be lazy practice study very 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 well properly regularly on daily basis little bit things you have to do so that the things won't get piled up once again and uh, you will be worrying about how I, I, i can do now what should i do now now these many things i have to do don't do that okay do the things little bit one by one one by one on daily basis your work will automatically be done and you will be tension free don't get the things piled up okay so solve the exercises whatever i am going to give you by uh, in form of pdf and after that you have to solve the examples and whatever the test i will be giving you have to solve it on your own without seeing in a stipulated time timing will be allotted to you we will be told the time uh, specific time also in that time only you have to finish it also and you have to submit see don't at all take it and negatively whatever we are facing nowadays is a kind of challenge okay so study very well stay home and stay very very safe okay don't be lagging behind at all in solving the examples or solving the exercises well, now writing skill that i am going to give you that will be uh, to check how are you writing because i don't have any kind of idea of about any one of you so that i can uh, judge that's why i'm just giving you once your writing skills are checked by me i'll get to know how much perfect you are so that we can work on the mistakes directly okay so after that i'll be guiding i'll teach entire things letter writing report writing everything will be taught but first let me check how you deal with the things okay fine so friends don't worry i am always with you but 
your duty you must not forget you have to study on daily basis don't waste time and all the very best do take care of yourself and your family thank you so much